Autism can mean that someone might behave in a way that seems a bit different or unusual to an outsider. And this can mean that some people, if they don't understand that behaviour, can treat people with autism differently or maybe exclude them. As a consequence, people with autism feel that they may have to conform or change their behaviour in order to fit in with society. And this can be very stressful and cause a lot of anxiety. Over the past few months, I've had the opportunity to meet many people with autism and Asperger's syndrome. And some of the insights that they've shared have the potential to challenge the misconceptions that we all hold. What do you think you find most challenging as a result of Asperger's? Trying to fit, fit into a, a world that's not really accommodating. Right. I don't. I don't mean it's particularly hostile. I think it's not really adapted to or uh, particularly understanding of. Yeah. 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 But then that's me looking at it from that point of view. Sure. If anybody, you know, say a member of the public or who is unaware of it, asks me, they have a tendency to label things as much of a likeness mm. and you know all all of the same, and they forget that everybody is an individual person. Yeah. I have on my support plan child of all ages though right. a lot of people they equate calling yourself a child with disrespect. Children need to be respected but have different needs in many ways. Um, for me it's about um, access to play equipment that was the thing that I loved most of all in the world and when I wasn't allowed on them um, it was just like a, a living death, really. I'd rather not live anymore than be in a world where just the dull grey adult world was available to me because I, I just didn't identify with any of that and I wasn't equipped to deal with it. I love balancing. I love coming to the park. It's difficult to believe when I'm doing things like this, but I had a lot of severe balance problems. I, I still do in many ways. Walking through crowds, um, I can't sense which way to step, it's like everyone's um, closing in on me and I just have to stand frozen until they get out of the way or make a lot of detours around people. But in the park I just feel really um, free and relaxed. You can shut your eyes Careful. go backwards. <laughs> So what would you say are the biggest challenges of Asperger's for you? I think I'm quite sensitive to sound, so sometimes I concentrate so much on something, I kind, it kind of shuts out what I'm hearing, so someone could be talking to me and it just seems like I'm ignoring them. So it's, that's why I kind of like working in the library, because usually it's quite quiet and or and usually dealing with one person at a time, so you can focus all your attention on them. Do people at work know you have Asperger's syndrome? Uh, some people do, some people don't, so it's kind of more with line managers, that kind of thing, they know, and they, they just treat me normally because that's how I prefer to be treated because it's, it's not much Diff I'm not uh, that different, the only difference is sometimes I get a bit more stress than other people. I tend to have a kind of panoramic sort of view and I look at all sorts of things at once and it's very annoying when you look at something and it's kind of irrelevant. It was particularly sensory clutter such as um, what I would call, but others might not, unnecessary signage. Clocks that have stopped or clocks that are, don't tell the right time and things like that and advertising hoardings and so on, particularly if they block out a good view and things like that and uh, basically it's things that I find uh, unfunctional. A psychologist I saw to get my ADHD diagnosis described the autistic executive functioning brain as a bit like the old steam trains that take a lot of starting and a lot of stopping and that fits quite well with um, my motivational problems now. And you need to have that self-insight, that self-understanding or you can end up just blaming yourself for being lazy and not being able to explain yourself to other people. What kind of things were it that made you feel stressed and anxious? It's that idea that something's finishing with me. What am I going to do next? 
it's kind of also when I'm reading something or listening to audio books, sometimes I don't actually finish it because I'm enjoying it so much I don't want it to end kind of thing. So sometimes I don't get to the end of something. So what do you think some of the challenges of being autistic are? I think most of the things, a lot of things that most people may take for granted, often it gets said to us, don't let anyone or anything stop you doing what you want to do. But sometimes, quite literally, nobody, nothing stops me doing what I want to do. Mm. See, if I like seesaws and there's literally nobody to share the other end with me, um, that's often um, represents a lot of things in an autistic person's life. Most relationships now are not a, not a problem. That trying to understand a lot of things that some members of the public do sometimes is a, a problem because I have, do have a tendency to analyse it and try to make sense of it. And sometimes there is no sense in it. A lot of people um, would base things on facial expressions and things like that and I had a problem with that and they said well you should know what I'm thinking and it was no if you tell me I can help work out this problem and it was but you should know what I'm thinking so I was a stale, kind of stalemate. What positives are there do you think for your job with having Asperger's? People find me, I'm quite laid back and because and they say I'm quite good listener so I don't rush into anything. Also I've got quite attention for details so when you're doing something like data entry or doing something really repetitive you usually don't get bored, I'll just keep on going and going and going. I realise that this is, no this is not such a bad thing, there are positives about it although that it's not often the way it's portrayed. Yeah. I think it allows me to look at things in a, in a different, different way, perhaps a bit of extra, extra intelligence, a uh, bit, of, bit of added tolerance for people with different conditions and so on. The way I see it is, it's like being a, almost a different species, put in the wrong environment. Being diagnosed autistic was the, one of the most positive things in my life because um, I dumped all mainstream society and started um, joining in disability, diversity friendly places. The way we treat each other, it's all about looking after each other, personal development, be being kind to each other, helping each other. Um, and when we look at some of the ways people treat each other in mainstream society, it's just um, quite nasty and barbaric compared to the way um, disabled people um, in the places I go, um, treat each other. Putting together what, what you've just said, is it right to think that probably the single most important thing that people can do to make life easier for someone with autism or an autistic person is acceptance? Oh, definitely, yeah. Over the last few decades, there's been a lot of positive steps taken to reduce discrimination against people, whether it be because of their skin colour, sexual orientation or gender. There's also a clear need to reduce discrimination against people who may see the world differently or think differently or communicate differently, whether this is due to autism or anything else.